Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, I know I did. Got a few things done. I uh, didn't really catch any of that here on, uh, you know, didn't really record any of it. I had a pretty good fire. I had a burn, burn pile, debris pile up the hill here on a different part of the property. We got that burned. We got quite a bit of rain on Friday, and then Saturday was relatively calm, so it was a kind of a good day to burn. We also got some rain then Sunday afternoon, so it was uh, it was good to get that uh, large pile kind of burned up and in a, in a really a safe manner because uh, we're in the time of year now where you know, we do get quite a bit of rain kind of rain kind of on and off as these storms come through and they usually bring uh, a, a good bit of wind i also got the four-wheeler up and going this weekend as well so that's that's why we're kind of able to move move along here on monday morning here if you see behind me uh, i've got a couple trees a couple of these kind of larger pines behind me that are going to come down today <clears throat> So I'm on a little bit of a time crunch in the sense that what I was just talking about, the weather, uh, is going to be bringing through some windy weather this afternoon, upwards of 20 to 25 mile an hour winds. So it is it is certainly calm. Uh, if you see behind me here, it's definitely calm out here right now. But as that front comes through, it's just going to deteriorate as far as the ability to safely, you know, fell some trees and stuff. So we need to uh, get on it. First thing, I got to sharpen up my chainsaw chainsaw blade and then we're going to get into it so let's get it All right, gang. Well, that you can tell I haven't done this in a in a minute for sure. That is a that's a good example of how not to do it right there. Uh, my face cut actually looks fairly level, um, but the back cut is absolutely terrible. So I had to work a little bit to get that uh, hinge wood there to break. I even came in here in the front. You may have saw me do that. Oh, not the last time I was on this side of the tree, just trying to get some of this. Once I saw this coming down at the angle it was, uh, I knew I was in trouble. Uh, so that's that's how we're looking. Like I said, that's definitely not how you want it to happen. But it's down. It's definitely in the direction I wanted it to go, which is great. All right, guys, just want to show you what is about to happen here. I just took a second... I went in, I sharpened up the chain on a chainsaw. I didn't do that initially because I thought, what's the odds I left it not sharp? But I did, so just took care of that. But this here, this is our next, this is our next tree. It's got a serious downhill lean to it. I hope you can kind of make that out. That tree behind it, uh, that's an oak there behind it. It's just, that's pretty vertical. That's pretty plumb. This one here, definitely downhill it, that, it gets above the tree line and then it shoots back vertical it's 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 different so and it is wide it's wide at the base definitely wider than my bar so i have to work on that a little bit but let me show you kind of what the plan is i just wanted to give you an idea but kind of about where we're at here on the property so obviously you can see the mill there this is the first tree that I struggled to bring down this morning. Okay, it's not limbed up yet because uh, I wanted to get this other tree down. So that's the other one we're bringing down right there. So it's definitely gonna open up the property, at least from the house, uh, give me some more of that mountain view out there. But then uh, because it's leaning down towards into the cabin area, I definitely wanna, I definitely wanna take care of this now while there's room, while there's no hazards down there, so. 
So we're down here now into the cabin area. This is the entrance to the property down here, or at least the cabin area. This is the area where the office is gonna go. So this is one of the reasons why I wanna drop this tree now, because as you can see, there's no office there yet. And my plan is to bring this tree basically down in this direction. So you see kind of here, center frame, and you can kind of see from this angle here, it really, you can't see the lean, which means it's leaning kind of right towards us. So I want to bring it down between this oak here, and then there's another, there's another set of trees over here. I'm definitely going to take some limbs out for sure on the way down of those oaks. But uh, yeah, that's just kind of how that is. I want to get this down sooner rather than later. Let's get to it. All right, guys, here with this here, the back side is about at least two feet higher than the front side where I'm going to make my face cut. So I'm going to have to work higher on the front side that, than I would want to. Uh, also, obviously, the lower I get the bell of the tree down here, it gets awfully wide. So we're going to do our best to kind of stay in this area here, which as you can see back here, it's about knee high, but up front, it's about chest high, so it's quite the difference. Let's get to it. Wow, <laughs> that was, that was nuts. Let's take a look and see what we got going on over here. I mean, that had such a lean on it. I was close here. This is probably four or five inches of holding wood here. But this back here, that's nuts. That's nuts. So, there she goes. Definitely fell where I wanted it to pretty close at least and I definitely hit that oak coming down so I definitely have some brush down there I got to clean up but the size of this I don't know if I'll be able to get that bottom piece on the mill that is that is wide all right let's uh let's get going here and we'll see what we can't get done well here's an after shot of the skyline just to show you kind of how it has changed I'll see if I can't put a before shot next to this one and then, then an after shot and hopefully it'll make a lot more sense when you see it that way. But that's how we're looking now.
Well, that there went uh, about as good as it can go. Definitely just a little bit of cleanup and stuff uh, to kind of get this area, and then we'll start bucking up the bucking up the uh, tree, get some, see what kind of logs we need, stuff like that. But I, I'm not quite sure if you can hear it, um, or maybe if it's not going to be picked up on the camera too well. But it has gotten windy in the last 15 minutes. So I am glad that uh, I kind of hustled down, got that second tree down before uh, before this stuff started to get in. And it's only you're supposed to get more windy as the day goes on. So this is just the start of it. So I'm glad we kind of got things going. So I'm gonna start cleaning up here and then we'll start limbing that other tree down there. All right, gang, you just saw me there. I just bucked this log up into a couple sections here. This end piece right here, this is a 12 footer. And then I had four uh, 10 foot sections beyond that. And I took a quick measurement. This across here, this is 24 inches across. So, and I need around 16 12 foot boards. So I don't think I'm gonna have any problem getting the, that many boards out of that log. There is a bit of an arc to it, uh, just a bit so I'm gonna lose some of that now I wasn't able to up there at the uh, what I'll call the skinny end uh, I'm not able to get a tape measure in to see how wide that is but I'm sure I yeah, I know I lose some width you know from here as the tree obviously goes up it gets smaller but um, again I don't think I'll have any issues getting 
a couple boards out of that 12 footer so all right looks pretty good up here on this end so i got two debris piles out of that one is up the hill there and the other is down the hill uh and generally how i do this is when i you know when i set them on fire i you know you can see i have a lot more debris just kind of sitting around so as that's burning just to give me something to do while it's burning and i can you know watch uh you know oversee the fire make sure it doesn't get out of control and things like that so i just walk around and pick up all the other branches and twigs and all that type of stuff and just throw it on there it just gives me something to do so well i'm gonna run in grab something to eat get back out here we're gonna start on the other tree well good morning everybody well as you can see behind me quite a bit has changed here since uh we were last together you last saw me i dropped a couple trees down here they're fairly close to the mill um down in the um cabin area here so those trees are now all limbed up and uh, i got four piles of debris that need to be burned and then the the actual trees themselves are all bucked up into usable lengths uh, for me to put on the mill that being said i really can't do anything uh right now simply because of the condition uh the weather conditions and the, and the ground conditions and stuff like that so let me take it back a little bit so last time you saw me it was monday uh got all that done and uh bucked up bucked up the trees and everything like that so tuesday i knew it was going to be kind of a rain out and that's exactly what it was it rained all day uh it started earlier in the evening probably six or seven in the evening on monday night and didn't really stop until uh i, I don't know maybe tuesday night something like that so we got a good 24 hours of of straight rain and then another system came through and temperature dropped a little bit and gave us all this white stuff you see on the ground here behind me and that's kind of where we're sitting at so I've got a messy sloppy work area kind of all over we are still in a wind advisory so I don't want to do any burning uh, I've got this pile that's up here towards the house here at the parking area uh, you know that would be an easy burn but you might be able to see behind me the the trees are still kind of swaying a little bit and uh, like I said, wind advisor until one o'clock today. So I don't really wanna be, you know, causing any problems with that. So, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna piddle around a little bit. We'll see what we can't get into. And if something interesting happens, I'll let you all know. All right, guys, here we go. All right, gang, here we go back at it again. Up here Thursday morning, as you can see behind me here, all of the snow is just about gone by this point. The ground is still pretty wet and kind of nasty, so I'm just kind of having to slog through that. But I got a few things going on. I got the log arch on the four-wheeler behind me, and then I've already started to bring up a couple a couple of the logs. Uh, this is the top of the, that first tree that I brought down the other day, and it's terrible. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I just wasted my time in bringing these logs up here to the mill just because of how bent and twisted they are. They're not going to you know provide really any decent lumber so i probably just throw them up there to see what i can't make out of them and we'll kind of go with that but also got the fire going behind me here wanted to get that going this morning now that's all green pine and it just takes forever to burn it, it took a while to get it going but eventually as you can see it, it's pretty smoky and uh it's just one of those things i'm gonna have to keep on top of all day just to make sure uh you know some woods in there that's gonna burn and stuff like that so I'm just going to keep hammering away. I'm going to get get as much of the uh, you know the timbers from down the hill back up here towards the uh, sawmill today as I can. Tomorrow is probably going to be a washout, so yeah, I'd like to get stuff done and get it kind of up here. So in between the rain clouds, I might be able to get a board or two cut. So let's get on it.
One of the good things about these logs that are all kind of knotted up like this every couple feet, it gives you a good place to put the chain underneath. There's never, it's never not a good spot to put it. So I've ran into this a few times now, which is, you know, I mean, completely expected. Just in that underneath, you know, the bottom side of the log, you've got these, uh, you know, the stump sticking out into the ground. So they end up dragging along the ground and things like that, making it tough to, making it tough to pull. And I certainly don't want to be pulling that through the driveway, ripping up my driveway a little bit. So I usually just take my chainsaw and just kind of trim those up a little bit. All right, gang, these last three here, they're gonna be somewhat of an issue, just in the sense they're so large and heavy. I can't take them across this hill with the log arch. It just wants to tip it over. So I'm going to drag these, at least this first one, I'm gonna drag it downhill. So I don't know if you could see that blue line there. That is my winch line off the front of the four-wheeler. Log arch is just positioned here because when I pull this log around, I should be able to just kind of hook up back to the log arch and kind of back it over it. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But this winch line, 
comes up here to I've got the cat choker on on the end of the log here to give it some kind of leverage as it comes around I got a bunch of stuff over here so I'm hoping it's going to use some of those old logs there to just kind of pivot on because I really don't want this coming downhill at me I've got to do a little bit of trimming up with the chainsaw because as I rolled it you can see it's no longer in the same line as the other timbers up there i kind of i used my cant hook and pushed it because i wanted to see what was underneath it and there was obviously some uh limbs that were jammed into the ground so i've got to i've got to cut those off All right, guys, got that pulled around there, just really just like I wanted it to. Here's the other two that are going to need some type of similar, you know, some sort of similar action to get these pointed to where I'm not pulling it across the hill. But this went, this went just fine. I was trying to avoid, it's just one more step. I was trying to avoid having to chain the four-wheeler to that tree back there. But as soon as I did, it just pulled this log no problem. So... Now I gotta get the log arch into position here and then uh, back on back on over this log, get it out of here. All right guys, we're out here at the next next uh, timber here that's gotta come up. Got a fairly unusual situation here in that I can't, you know, I can't pull this one down like I did the last one. There's just too much debris and stuff in the way. Um, but I have, Kind of looked at this and thought if i can bring this up about 15 20 feet there's a little stump that's right here if i can get it on the other side of that or even just on the other side of that stump there i think i'll be okay i've got the log arch here ready to go i can back right over it if i get it up this far and uh so i'm going to use the winch in a method uh that i hope is going to work so we'll uh we'll see how it goes so i've got it coming out of the winch over the top of the log and then back connected to the bottom of the four-wheeler here so i don't know i've got nothing to chain the four-wheeler to here in the back so we'll see i'm hoping this is going to work out well we'll see let's get it
Now, because these are so heavy, and you can see I'm on a pretty good, pretty good hill right here, I am going to go kind of sideways down the hill and down onto the driveway there. And then I take the road all the way around to the main driveway and up toward, up into the uh, parking area. So that's kind of how we're handling it. Well, here we are, we're at the last log here, and this is by far going to be the hardest one to get. A couple things working against me here. This is the, this is a 12 footer. So it's going to be, it's the longest and it's at the bottom of the tree. So it's gonna be the heaviest. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. I've got the main winch point here, a little forward of center. Uh, you know, the idea is that I'm going to take a majority of the weight with the cable and the log arch. So this end here basically just kind of drags. I'm sure it will. I'm, I mean, it's just how it, how the weight is distributed right now. So I've got to, it's got to be tough because I have to climb across the hill and kind of down the other side. So I, I, I'm not, I don't know what, what the hell is going to happen. So we'll, uh. I mean, this may not even move an inch. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, a little bit of, of an update here. I actually just slid the chain, the middle of the chain, or I should say the midpoint chain there. I slid it back about 10 inches, and that seemed to give it enough to get the log off the ground and off of that old rotted stump that it was kind of pinched up against. So uh, the only problem now it is super sketchy uh, the four-wheeler wants to flip over I've got a little bit of an issue here with this stump that's right here my front wheel is going to go up even higher as I go over that and everything wants to go downhill so uh, yeah we're going to take it slow and see what happens Okay, well, like I was saying, that was uh, super sketchy. Uh, the four-wheeler almost flipped over. I think you saw that, but uh, I'm really in a pickle. Uh, I've got this stump here. I, the four-wheeler is sliding into the debris pile. I, I'm really glad at this point, this is not one of the ones I set on fire today because that, uh, that this would be a mess. Um, I am... I have to get the log arch out from in between it. So I, if I drop the log, uh, and then I can winch the log down the hill, that wouldn't be bad. But I, oh, it would just, I'm not putting myself into a better position. That's the only, that's my only thing here. So I, I think I'm literally gonna have to pull it all the way down the driveway down to somewhere in that area right there and then eventually get the log arch around it and drive it around but just getting yeah just getting everything out of here is really going to be <laughs> really going to be a, a, a challenge so let's get to it
Okay, attempt number 525. Here's what we're looking at. So right now, so I've decided what I want to do is literally just roll this up the hill. And I think that is the easiest thing for me to do, seeing as that even if I turn it straight to go straight down the hill, my situation is not improving. So the easiest thing to do I believe it's going to be to roll this up the hill and it, it rolls relatively easy with the with the winch and everything kind of like I rolled that uh, that last log so I've got the towing strap here this is what I use to pull the logs up onto the wash rack and what I want to do initially is just pull that front end kind of towards the camera here so that when I start to roll the log it rolls uphill now granted this end here is larger so you know this is gonna it's gonna come up i'm gonna have to do some adjusting on the way up the hill and stuff but um i also have some like small stumps and things that are gonna have to be addressed but i think all in all this is going to be the well i'm not gonna say nothing <laughs> we'll see how it goes Well guys, I just want to show you here uh, the method that I'm using. It's really working pretty good right now. So I have detached the chains from the front of the four-wheeler now, and I have them on a stump right here. So now there's nothing actually pulling, you know, the four-wheeler to the log that we're bringing up here. So this is working out really well. Uh, a little, I guess a little common sense goes a long way as far as this goes. But uh, I still have some work to do, certainly, but uh, the, the, the timber right now is rolling just fine up the hill, so. All right, guys, I don't know if the camera shows it here. I'm not sure how well it's gonna pick it up, but it's pretty dark out here right now. And uh, great success, managed to get it up here pretty close to the top of the hill. I was gonna keep pulling and try and just kind of pull it over these branches and stuff that's right here. I'm just gonna wait till this burns itself out um which is fine that'll burn out and then i have plenty of space i'll start uh milling as soon as i can not going to be tomorrow because it's going to be raining but uh, start milling knock those out and i'll be plenty of room for this here to just come rolling up i could probably get it up out of here with a cant hook but uh yeah using using a four-wheeler is just uh super easy so it's 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 great so i got a little bit to clean up out here and um yeah i think i think overall last couple days been not not too bad not super productive but i would have already liked to have been uh, milling by this point but that's how it is so again we'll take tomorrow uh like i said the behind the scenes and stuff like that i've been doing quite a bit website work uh also getting this new I, video editing stuff that i'm doing uh, you probably notice it on this uh on this video here because i'm going to put all this together tonight and get this out to you so yeah yeah so that's it guys hey listen i really appreciate you hanging out if you like what you're seeing go ahead and hit that subscribe button i'd appreciate it it kind of gets the word out lets youtube know that hey people are enjoying watching this and stuff so if you can go for it i appreciate it we'll see you on the next one